Next, we have a great honor to induct a decorated football official who also created one of the top high school basketball tournaments in the country. Let's meet Glenn Young. Any written history about Hawaii sports must include at least a chapter of a man whose body of work spans more than five decades. In addition to being an educator and coach, Glenn Young served over 35 years as a football official, working in the ROIA and OIA. He quickly ascended as one of the elite officials in Hawaii, achieving Prep Bowl championship status through his own preparation. I started in 1972. He was already an established you know, OIA or ROI official. And so I was a box man and chain guy. So, you know, I was really down real low. <laughs> so, but it, he would do part of the rules clinics. They would have the referees do it. You know, the way Mr. Chong, would, you know, the, the, who was a commissioner at the time, the way he would do it. And so uh, that's how I got to know him. As a teacher and, and all of us, he was very well prepared and he knew his rules. Like hopefully all of us that were on the field at the time too. Um, but he really did. He took pride in his uh, rule knowledge and penalty enforcement, which is something I also did too. That's the reason why it was to me a very symbiotic relationship in terms of the respect you have for another official. A 1959 graduate of Iolani School, Glenn Young would return to his alma mater after college and serve as the school's first computer teacher, as well as an assistant football coach under the great Eddie Hamada. He became rules administrator for the OIA, teaching younger officials the right mechanics in order to succeed while displaying the same persona that earned him universal respect. Same as on the field, I mean, you know, he's quiet, you know, he's humble, you know, and you know, he don't, even if he did something wrong, he won't tell, he won't, put you down, you know, just say, well, you just got to do this and do that. Extremely smart fellow. I mean, he knew football rules. He was also, he's very quiet. He was very quiet, but, but personable. I mean, but it's almost like he was standoffish, but he, I don't think he was. I, I, it's, it's those types of people that are, are very quiet, almost shy. Almost, and if you look at back, you know, after a bunch of years and, and you say, probably wasn't shy, you know, just, just, he was reserved. His career took him from old Honolulu Stadium to Aloha Stadium. And as Hawaii's football era evolved, Glenn Young maintained a standard of excellence in officiating, earning assignments in the first two HHSA football championship games and an NFHS Hawaii State Football Official of the Year honor. Soon after, he would slowly step aside, allowing the future generation of officials to enhance their craft. The second year, he decided to become the supervisor of officials kind of idea where he was the assigner. So that means he took himself out of the equation and he actually was a good official, top of his game, but put the game in front of him, yeah, before him and whatever he could do. I mean, whatever prestige comes from that. Yeah. So that to me was like, oh, that's a real selfless act if you think about it. He gained the respect of coaches. I noticed that, and, and that to me is probably the most important thing. You know, as, as you do it, uh, he had that you know thing. Whether it's his connection with Roy Chal or not, he, he no one no one give him bad time, never. In, in all the years that we worked with him, Glenn Young passed away in 2015, but his legacy is still seen and felt today. Whether it's on the gridiron or on the hardwood with the creation of one of the premier basketball tournaments in the country, the Iolani Prep Classic. But above all, the reason why he was so beloved isn't just because of what he did for people, but how he made people feel, showing others genuine care and love that has those he knew stick around in his honor. I think the other one that to me is very important, and it's and it, it, it's not, while well, it's not necessarily officiating, it's the basketball thing that he established at Iolani School. That, you know, as I was talking to some of the basketball people, that gave local folks the opportunity to do big time games that they would have never gotten to. And, and that helps you in your in your dealing with every game during the season. And that to me was, it was really the best. Yeah, if there was gonna be a, a Hall of Fame for basketball, he would be that. He, he truly would have been that, 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 you know. And I think Mel Cotero will say the same thing. You're the reason I've still around in football since 1977. So, you know, for 40 years, you know, there's a reason, one of the main reasons, you know, Jim Beavers too. 
um, I've been around. So thanks to him. Thanks. I'll tell him thank you. You know. And I came a better person. Forever young and forever remembered. Congratulations to 2023 Hawaii Sports Officials Hall of Fame inductee, Glenn Young. Kaji and his son, Dean Young. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome class of 2023 Hawaii Sports Officials Hall of Fame inductee, Glenn Young. On behalf of my mother and my brothers and our entire family, I just want to say thank you so much to the Hawaii Sports Officials Hall of Fame, Board of Directors, Selection Committee um, for this honor. Thank you so much. Our family is forever grateful. Um, I wanted to thank Jim Beavers. Um, I don't know if he's here, but he was our initial con Oh, he's here. Hi. He was our initial contact. He was the one who emailed us and said, hey, you know, your dad's been nominated for this honor and um, can you collect some data for me? And I was like, oh, you know, as, as meticulous and organized and, and anal, honestly, as my dad was, he didn't keep those kinds of records. So I called Nat, Nali Iwamoto at HHSA and I said, hey, Nat, I need some help. Can you gather some info for me? So she said, okay, let me get back to you. And of course she called Thomas Yoshida, um, who is literally a walking archive database um, encyclopedia. If we could download all the data and info in, in actually, you have to do that someday. Um, he's amazing. He has all the answers, all the dates, all the names, all the officials, uh, the, the scores, who played against who. Um, so thank you, Natalie, and thank you, Thomas. Um, actually, Eddie Mariyama from Yalani School was the one who gave Jim Beavers our contact info, um, mine and, and my brother Dean's. So thank you, Eddie um, and Mo, um, everyone at Yalani, the athletic department, has always been supportive of my dad from day one, from long, long before uh, I can remember. Um, uh, and then Cal Evans, uh, when we got word that my dad actually had been inducted, Cal Evans took over all the correspondence, so, so thank you, Cal Evans. It's been nice meeting you. Thank you for the meet and greet on Thursday. We met the inductees and their families Thursday, so thank you to um, all the people who contributed to that and organized that. It was a very nice evening, and thank you for dinner. Um, thank you to Mr. Beavers, Mr. Quotero, and um, Mr. Goshima for participating in the video. Um, you know, my dad passed away almost eight years ago. It's been a while. So I'm not sure. I don't even know if Mike Goshima's here, but he is. He is? So I've not, we, I haven't spoken to him at all. So I'm not sure what made him think of my dad so many years after my dad passed. But thank you very much. Obviously, you wouldn't be here. My dad would not have this honor if you had not been the one to nominate him. We were told by multiple people that you were the one who brought his name up. So thank you for that. Um, you know, as much as my dad's always been associated with basketball, there was always football. My brothers and I, we grew up in the gym watching basketball, but we also grew up watching football, whether it was Iolani football, OA football, UH football. I mean, my dad always had, he was always watching, well, not just football, any sport. But, you know, we, we literally grew up at the various football fields, all the OIA schools um, around the state. And um, so my dad went to school at, well, he played football at Iolani, and then he went to college at the University of Urbana-Champaign. And he, he didn't play college football, but he did play intramural college football at the University of Illinois. And he used to tell this story. Um, when he was there, Preston Pearson, um, did I say Preston Pearson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, sorry, wait a minute. That's it didn't sound that's right. sorry, I have to ask Thomas. I uh, was actually a basketball player there, and uh, my dad played intramurals, and my dad was the quarterback. I don't know how he ended up being a quarterback, because I think he was a running back in high school. But he was a quarterback, and Preston Pearson was his was the wide receiver. So he got a kick out of that. Um, but he came home and um, started coaching Iolani and officiating, officiating OIA games. And that was back in the day. And like I said, you know, my parents used to pack us all up in the car. And we used to go to all my dad's games. And so back in those days, you know, Loyal Garner would come or Melvin Lead would come and they would be dressed in their, you know, Loyal Garner would be like her hair perfect, her makeup perfect in her blue velvet gown, you know, and she would come in this fancy car and drive up to the field and sing the, the national anthem and Hawaii Ponoi and then speed off in her fancy car again. It was just like the most beautiful start to the football game. Uh, but we all knew, we knew that, you know, we watched the clock and when there were like about two, two, two and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, we would start packing up and we'd all get in the car ready to go and then the game would end and my dad would come flying. They didn't even, the officials didn't even say goodbye to each other. They would run to the car. My dad would jump in the car and just go, okay, okay gang, duck. And we would all just be like, because people would, all the fans would come and they would literally throw tomatoes and rocks at the car as the officials drove off. And that's what I remember from way back when I was little, all these football games. But, um, but between that and um, the cherry bomb or pipe bomb that was thrown on the football field at Aloha Stadium, they kept playing it over and over on the news. My dad was the white hat and someone threw a couple of bombs onto the field and one landed just a few feet behind my dad and he fell forward and I, and I asked him if he got knocked out and he said, yeah, he was. He said he came to, he doesn't know how long he was down. It looked like just a few seconds. But um, it started getting a, a little, um, dicey, you know, being an official. So between that and the and the Eli Classic, I think he just got a little busy and he retired from officiating and then um, a few years later Uncle Roy Chong gave him a call and said, Hey, we need we need officials. Are you willing to come back? So he did and um, did that for a few more years and then became HHSA officials coordinator. So um, and here we are today. So I just want to thank all the other officials here. I see a lot of you here. Um, again, these are people I've known since I was little. Um, but thank you because um, my dad loved the game of football, but he also loved all the camaraderie and the friendships that he made throughout the years officiating football. Um, it was really special to him. So thank you all. Um, and I just want to thank all the officials in every sport because my brother and I, um, Dean and I, were talking to Cal Evans the other night, and we were talking about officials, and you know, it's just, it's not the most rewarding um, job, and you know, we all know that the game, the meet, um, doesn't, doesn't start, doesn't go on without the officials, and we need officials, so thank you very much, all of you, for putting the time and effort into officiating all the various sports um, events. And I guess that's it. Thank you again for the honor.